We found uh, this photograph. Apparently, we're going to do this it first this one. Way. Yes, sure. I've had it enlarged. Uh, it was a little tiny print. A uh, picture, as you can see, of a very handsome young child, apparently about five, very composed, very well dressed, and uh, she had written the name Edwin on the back of this, the original of this picture. And then, in the same drawer of her trunk, we located this photograph. Apparently the same boy looking perhaps 12 or 13. I wasn't certain it was the same boy, but it looked pretty much like him. And uh, then we also found this old picture of my mother at about the time the child would have been born. This was, was what they used to call a school act. My mother did comedy all her life. And here she is in a kind of a silly Buster <coughs> Keaton type makeup with a couple of comics, I guess, in this old sketch. This all would have been around 1905 or so. So that started my search. That made me realize I had a, at least a half-brother somewhere because she was, he was born before she met my father. And it's uh, finally turned into a successful search. I've located the gentleman, but it took quite some doing. And is his name Edwin Smith? The name Edwin was dropped, apparently, when he was given away by my mother at the age of perhaps three or so, uh, given out for adoption. And when I finally was able to reach him, it came as a great shock to him because he did not know that he was adopted. He too was raised as an only child. And it turned out that the lady he had addressed his mother all his life was not his mother. And uh, there's actually a great deal more detail to the story I won't bother to go into here, but uh, it really threw him for a loop. And uh, it, Had he ever heard your mother's name? No, never heard of her. However, uh, he, when I finally got together with him, which we did uh, You've met. several weeks back. Yes, yes. What uh, was that like? Charming fellow. Well, it was very emotional. Uh, we, anyway, to, to jump back a little bit in the story, I wrote letters. I'd written many letters to people with the different names. So I wasn't sure that he was the one, finally. But I sent the pictures with each letter, figuring facts could get confused or forgotten, but a picture is a picture. And when he recognized these pictures as pictures of himself as a child, that really, as I say, uh, was a, a shock to him. So he talked to other members of his family and discovered that he had indeed been adopted and they had simply never told him, as is often the case in these stories. So we made arrangements to get together and uh, we finally did down in uh, the Carolina area. He's an attorney down there, a very distinguished attorney. He served with the uh, Justice Department in uh, the Roosevelt administration, Washington, but has practiced most of his life in North Carolina. He has three marvelous children, all grown. He's a man of about, I think, 67 now, considerably older than myself. And uh, when we met, uh, I think it was a more powerful experience to me than for him, because he'd been seeing me on television for 25 years, but I'd never seen him, and the shock was, he is the image of my mother. I don't look that much like her, but he is like her twin. My. Isn't that extraordinary? Mm -hmm. And he had been watching you all these years? Yes with no particular interest that I was aware of. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, was the meeting he, like? Did you have a long talk? Oh, uh, yes. I, I did just you spend a few days? Yeah, we spent a week together. Uh, Jane and I and uh, our son, Bill, who's now 17, uh, those three representing my family.